You know, that school was rough when I went there. It's way beyond that now. Ooh. Well, then just forget about it. Don't even discuss it again. I can't quite do that. Coach officially offered me the job tonight. The clock's ticking. And when you say offer and job, there's usually money involved. Yeah, there might be a thousand bucks in it for me. For five months of work? Oh, well, you can't say no to that. The team, it's so bad. Those boys, they're so angry and undisciplined. And besides, you know, you don't have the time. You're trying to open up a second store. Exactly. I don't have the Hell, I don't have any time. And you promised to take your girlfriend to Mexico in January. And I'm definitely keeping that promise. There's no way I'm not going to Mexico and hanging out on the beach with you and your bikini. I can't take that job. So when do you start? You should have spoken to me first. Why? It was a personal choice for me. So what happens to me? You still gonna come to my games? I'll probably miss most of your games, Damien. I'm sorry. Well, then I'll just go to Richmond and play for you. No. Well, why not? Dad, you've always been my coach. This is a great school, Damien. Puts you in a great position for college. Dad, I'm a freshman. Just because I'm coaching at Richmond, it doesn't change our plans for your future, all right? still stands. I'd like to coach the team. Well, I hope you're up for the task. These young men need discipline. The job comes with a $1,500 stipend and a major time commitment for the next four months. I accept. Great. We're thrilled to have you. Gentlemen, I hate to be abrupt, but I do have a budget meeting I need to run to. Mr. Carter, is there anything you need from us? Well, I just need about um, 25 copies of this document. I'm all set. Ray, would you see to it that Mr. Carter, Coach Carter, gets these copies? Will do. Gentlemen. I'm not saying this is not going to be a challenge. But, Kenny, you know the deal here. Just keep in mind, these are good boys. Guys! 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 Now, as you know, oh. I've been, hey, you know I've been looking for a new coach to take over for me this season. This is Ken Carter. He went to Richmond. He was a two-sport All-American. Still holds records for scoring, assists, steals, basketball scholarship to George Mason University. We're lucky to have Coach Carter. Now let's give him the respect he's due. They're all yours, Coach. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, young men. As Coach White said, I'm your new basketball coach. Ken Carter. I guess I need to speak louder so you can hear me. I'm Ken Carter, your new basketball coach. Oh, we hear you, dog, but we can't see you. The glare from your big black ass head is hella shiny, man. Damn, do you buff it? <laughs> oh, you got jokes to go along with that ugly jump shot of yours, huh? <laughs> First of all, if you need to know my credentials, as Coach White said, they're on the wall, they're behind you. Secondly, if basketball practice starts at 3, you are late as of 2.55. You, shooting the ball. What's your name, sir? Jason Lyle, but I ain't a sir. You're not a sir. Well, are you a madam? <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. As of now, you are a sir. So are the rest of you. Sir is a term of respect. 
and you will have my respect until you abuse it. Mr. Lyle, how many games did you guys win last season? Like four wins, 22 losses. Sir. Sir. I'm going to give you contracts. If you sign and honor your side of them, we are going to be successful. Damn, do I get a signing bonus for signing this contract? Yes, sir. You get to become a winner. Because if there's one thing I know, it is this. The losing stops now. Starting today, you will play like winners, act like winners, and most importantly, you will be winners. If you listen and learn, you will win basketball games. And gentlemen, winning in here is the key to winning out there. This contract states that you will maintain a 2.3 grade point average. You will attend all your classes, and you will sit in the front row of those classes. Yo, this is a country ass nigga, dog. Church. Excuse me, did you say something, sir? Worm was wondering, are you some country church nigga with your tie on and all that? Right. That's what you're trying to say, right? And what is your name, sir? I'm Timo Cruz, sir. Well, Mr. Cruz and Mr. Worm, what you should both know is we treat ourselves with respect. We don't use the word nigga. Are you some preacher man or some shit? Because God ain't going to do you no good in this neighborhood. Well, I live in this neighborhood, sir. Sir, can you believe this uppity Negro, sir? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Cruz. Leave the gym right now. For what? I'll ask you one last time to leave the gym before I help you leave. Before you what? Do you even know who I am? From what I can see, a very confused and scared young man. Scared of who? Scared of you? I'm supposed to be scared of you? Nigga, I ain't scared of nobody. I will lay your ass out. I don't think so. Teachers ain't supposed to touch students. I'm not a teacher. I'm the new basketball coach. This ain't over! Anybody else who's not feeling this contract? Come on, man. Where you going? I don't do high school contracts. You tell us when you meet the real ballers. I will do that, sir. There goes our two leading scorers from last season, man. Then I guess we'll have new leading scorers this season, huh? Now, I cannot teach you the game of basketball until your conditioning is at a level that allows me to do so. Gentlemen, report to the baseline. To the baseline! <laughs> 